Hey everyone, um, before I jump right into this video, excuse the lighting, it's cloudy, um, I can't really do much about the lighting, I even tried using the lamp, um, turning on the light, it didn't really do anything, so awkward lighting, just kind of have to run with it. Also, I'm not wearing any eye makeup, so if it looks kind of weird to you, I guess you just have to deal with it. I just didn't feel like putting on any eye makeup today, but um, today I wanted to do a review on Elf's Flawless Finish Foundation, and I have it on right now. Um, I'm in the shade Buff. Yeah, Buff. Yeah, I'm Buff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm in the shade Buff, and it's just kind of a light, medium skin tone. I'm not medium, and I'm not light, so I'm in between. Um, first off, I'm going to tell you that it's only sold online, or what I know of is only sold online. Um, they haven't, I don't think they sell it at Target, because Target does hold else, um, products but they don't have this foundation. If you do know of a place that sells this foundation, let me know or let others know if they're wondering. But um, it's available online on islipsface.com. They have six shades, um, so it's not a wide variety, but it's not too bad. If you want to try it out for yourself and I don't have your shade, I suggest buying two shades um, that are close to your skin type or I mean, your skin color and just mix them. Um, it is really cheap. I don't mean too cheap. Actually, it is cheap for the quality of this product. It is $6 online, um, and the packaging is quite expensive. I mean, it seems like you would want to charge more for it. It is glass. It's a fog-type glass. Um, it does come with a pump, so it's super hygienic for you. Compared to drugstore products, this is a really good value. Um, drugstore foundations usually come up range about seven to twelve dollars and this is only six and it's lasted me pretty a pretty good amount of time and I've had this for over a month now but it's also probably because I've been using other types of foundations but this I don't know I don't even use a whole entire pump for it I just use about half a pump or three-fourths of a pump and it has really good coverage it blends very well it doesn't leave a cakey effect on your face it has a semi-matte finish so it's not too dewy and it's not all the way completely matte. But I prefer a completely matte face, especially during the winter time. Um, so I use the translucent powder to finish it off. Since I've been using it, I haven't broken out and it hasn't encouraged oils to come out of my face and become more oily. Actually, it's done a really good job in keeping my face like matte and nice looking other than like kind of greasy looking, I guess, when you have really oily skin. I do have combination skin, so I do know what it's like to have oily skin, but I, I think I already mentioned that. But anyways, winter time, dry skin. So I always have to use a moisturizer before applying this. Because if you apply foundation on dry skin and flaky skin, it's, it's not what's up. Okay, so I've read reviews, I've watched reviews, especially Sandwich's reviews. Um, Sandwich is also a, a YouTube beauty guru. Um, she had no complaints. She's The only thing she had to say was that she read on a review site that the pump broke on some people when they received it. I have no complaints. It works well for me. hasn't broke on me. Um, probably the people who received a broken one, um, it might have damaged during shipping, so that might be too bad for them, but overall this product is really good. Um, I'm pleased with this foundation, especially for the price, $6.00. I recommend this product for any of you who are trying or who want to try out liquid foundation. My only complaint is that it has this fragrance. It's kind of like flowery, so it's like a knockoff bearing princess perfume. So it's, it's kind of gross. I personally do not like fragrances in my foundation, but I just kind of have to deal with it because this is a really good product. I don't really like applying it though because the smell is just kind of ew. But if you don't mind it, it's it's a recommended buy for you. Um, so pretty much that's all I have to say. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me on this video or you can tweet me um, at MegaXMakeup and I will answer your question as soon as I get on Twitter basically. I answer my questions a lot quicker on Twitter and respond to you guys a lot quicker on Twitter than on the video itself. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!